today we are going to talk about the quality of cells. Let's look at a very useful theorem. If m plus n root b is equal to x plus y root b, where root b is an irrational number, and m, n, x, and y are rational numbers, then m is equal to x and n is equal to what y. So we are saying that if you have two expressions, m plus n root b and then x plus y root b, if the set we have in this first expression is the same as the set we have in the second expression, and then that set is an irrational number, and then m, n, x, and y are all rational numbers, then certainly the m is equal to the x, and then the n is also equal to what? The y. So if you have the same set in the two expressions, root b, root b, what it means is that the numbers in front of the set are the same, and then the numbers without the set are also the same. That is what the theory means. So we have two expressions, and then the set in the two expressions are the same. If it happens like that, then what it means is that the numbers in front of the set are the same, and then the numbers without the set are also the same. So, for example, if you have m plus n root 11 is equal to 2 plus 7 root 11, you see, the sets are the same in both expressions. So, we can see that the number in front of the set is equal to the number in front of the set, and then the numbers without the sets are also equal. So, this implies m is equal to what? 2, and then what? n is equal to what? 7. This m is equal to the 2 over here, and then the n is equal to what? 7. As simple as such. Alright, the second one to if we have 15 plus x root 2 is equal to 3m plus 10 root 2. You first have to check the set. You have to check the set part. Check to see if the sets are equal. So over here we have root 2, root 2. They are all irrational numbers and they are the same. So we can see that the numbers in front of the set are equal. So x is equal to what? 10. And then the numbers without the set are also equal. So we have 15 is equal to what? 3m. But we are looking for m. So we divide both sides by 3. Okay, this one cancels this. 3 is good here, 1, and then 3 will go here, what? 5. Therefore, m is equal to what? 5. Alright, let's look at some um, another example. Assuming we have h plus 12 root 3 is equal to x plus y root 3, you first have to check the set part. So we have root 3 over here, then root 3 over here, they are equal. So therefore, for these two expressions to be equal, or yes, for these two expressions to be equal, then what it means is that this number has to be the same as the number that has to be here. And then the number in front of the root, or the number in front of the set, also has to be equal to the number over here. So we have S should be equal to 8, this implies S is equal to what? 8, and then the y should also be equal to what? 12. Good, let's look at um, another example. When you look at this example, the, the side is already simplified, but it looks like there's a bit of work to be done over here. Okay, so we just have to simplify further and then group. When you look at root 25, root 25 is the same as what? 5, the square root of 25. 25 is a squared number, so root 25 is the same as what? 5 plus, you say 2 root 5 plus 8 root 5, root 5 root 5. So we can rewrite this one as 2 plus a root what? 5, okay? If you expand this, you get this one back. 2 times root 5, you give you what? 2 root 5, and then a times root 5 will give you what? a root 5. And this is equal to b plus 10 root 5. Good. 
So we have a number with a set and then a number with a set. The set is root 5. We have the same root 5 over here. So the sets are equal. Therefore, the numbers in front of the set will be the same. The numbers in front of the set would have to be the same. And then the numbers without the set would also have to be equal. So then we can say B is equal to what? 5. This is equal to that. And also the numbers in front of the set. 2 plus A will have to be equal to what? 10. No, sorry for that. So 2 plus A would have to be what? Equal to 10. Then we are looking for A. So what? Let just make a standard one. So we have A is equal to 10. Um, two half, two is positive here. When it comes here, it becomes what? Minus two. Then half a is equal to ten minus two is what? Eight. Okay. All right. So for these two expressions to be the same, the value of b has to be what five, and the value of a has to be what eight. All right. Let's look at some more examples. Um. If you are given that m and n are what rational numbers, so we are asked to find the value of m and n and the following. Okay, all right. So this problem looks to involve a bit of steps, but it's very simple. All right, good. I have to sort this and express the right hand side is also in a form um, m plus n root b. So I have to divide both sides by. 4 minus root 3 divide both sides by 4 minus root 3 so that this one will take care of this okay and we are left with what m plus n root 3 on the left side is equal to 5 root 3 over 4 minus root 3 on the right side okay so the left side looks simplified and I have to work on the right side and the right side um, you have to multiply both the top and the down by the conjugate of what? The denominator. Recall from our previous lesson. So this times the conjugate is what? 4 plus root 3. And then multiply the down to by the conjugate of the denominator. So let's multiply out. 5 root 3 will multiply. 5 root 3 will multiply what? 4 plus root 3 that's for the numerator when you come to the denominator we have 4 minus root 3 times 4 plus what root 3 okay good so 5 root 3 times 4 so 5 will multiply 4 when 5 multiply 4 you'll get you 20 root 3 okay plus 5 root 3 will multiply what root 3 always there's a hidden one here so 5 times 1 will give me 5. With 3 times with 3 is equal to what? 3. Okay. Over. This is actually a difference of 2 squares. So we have 4 squared minus what? With 3 squared. Record this from our previous lesson. Okay. So we simplify further. And then we have 20 with 3 plus 5 times 3 is giving me. 5 times 3 will give us what? 15. Will give us 15. No, let me write this one proper. This is 15. Okay. Alright. Over 4 squared, 16 minus this one will cancel this and we're left with what? 3. Okay. Alright. So this is equal to. Um, 20 root 3 plus 15 over 16 minus 3 is what 13. So I can actually bring this one first. So we have 15 over 13 plus what 20 root 3 over what, 13. Okay, all right, this is the same as this. So we have um m plus root 3 is equal to that so we can compare when you look at the set part we have root 3 here root 3 here so for these two sides to be the same or to be equal 
m has to be equal to what 15 13 13 and then n has to be equal to what 20 over what 13 all right let's look at another example and this will actually be the last example we are given this to find the value of m and n given that um, m and n are what rational given that m and n are what rational so unlike the first example this i'm going to multiply through all right so if 5 multiplies 12 you're getting 5 times 12 will be what 60 and if 5 multiplies negative 3m 5 times negative 3m give me negative 5m root 3 okay all right and the inside terms will multiply so if root 3 multiplies 12 or 12 times root 3 this is equal to 12 root 3 12 root 3 and then if root 3 multiplies negative m root 3 as usual there's a hidden one over here so that 1 times negative m is what negative m and then the root 3 times root 3 is equal to what 3 this is equal to n plus 2 root 3 all right so i'm actually going to bring the terms without the root close to each other so we have 60 minus m times 3 is the same as what 3m okay um and and actually let me bring this one first plus 12 root 3 minus 5m root 3 okay is equal to n plus 2 root 3 i've not done anything i've just regrouped them all right so i can write this one as 60 minus 3m and then this will form one group, okay? Plus 12 root 3 minus 5 root 3. You see, root 3 root 3. So I can write this one as 12 minus 5m root what? 3. Actually, if you expand this, you get this one. You see, 12 times root 3 will give me 12 root 3. Negative 5m times root 3 will give me what? Negative 5m root 3. And this is equal to n plus what? 2 with three good so now we have a group we have this group without a set plus this group with a set which is equal to a term without a set plus a term with a set so let's check the set part let me change this we have root three and then what root three so for these two expressions to be equal these two expressions to be equal and this term without the set has to be equal to the term without a set over here and then this term two in front of the set have to be equal to the, the what the number in front of the set okay so we can see that 60 minus 3m is equal to what n and then what 12 minus 5m is equal to what two all right so now we have to solve for what m and n good um it's very simple to find m so let me do that one first i have negative 5 m is equal to 2 you see 12 is positive here when you cross the equal to sum it becomes what minus 12. you have this is equal to 2 minus 12 will give me what negative 10. I'm looking for m so I'll divide both sides by the coefficient of m which is what negative 5 negative 5 then this one cancels this and then the, this one also cancels this 5 will go here 1 5 will go here 2 and I have what m is equal to what 2 okay all right so I'm going to substitute this over here okay all right so I have 60 minus 3 in place of the m i'm going to put what 2 is equal to what n so you have 60 minus 3 times 2 is what 6 and this is equal to what n 60 minus 6 is giving me what 54 is equal to n therefore m is equal to what 2 
and then n is equal to what 54 so the only thing you have to do is that you have to just expand a bracket group the terms without the set and the terms with the set and then what equate the terms without the set and then the terms with the set and then solve for the variables thanks for watching